Hello, welcome to this lesson where we build REST APIs using Laravel. The REST APIs we are going to build we include the cloud operations, all the operations in cloud that is to create a resource, get the resources created, update and delete. This lesson is for beginners. So we are not going to build any complex API or do some complex stuff. However, the assumption is that you already know how to use Laravel, at least the basic stuff, okay? So we are not going to do stuff like uh, what is Laravel, what is controller, routes, and stuff like that. So you should know at least the basics of Laravel, okay? And the APIs we are going to create will be for a to-do application. Now, the emphasis is not on what application we are building, but the emphasis is on how you can develop REST APIs using Laravel. All right, so to proceed, you have to create a new Laravel project. I've already done that to save us some time. You can use any approach of your choice. There are different ways to create a Laravel project. You can run the composer command, as you can see on the screen if you choose to. And when you do that, you open the, the new project in the code editor of your choice and go to the .env file and connect to the database, okay? So you, you set up the database connection. And when you have connected to the database, we are all set to get started. So we said we are building APIs for to-do applications, to perform cloud operations. First and first, let's create the model for, for the to-do. Okay, I will create the model and migrate at the same time. PHP, application, make model to do. So with dash M flag, we create both the model and the migration file. And when that is done, if you go to app and you go to models, you can see our new model class. And if you go to the migrations, you will see our, our to-do's table. Okay. Open the model file and let's define some, some columns we are expecting in the, we want to have in the table. So protected fee level. A to do should have a title and uh, let's say priority and finally something to show that the to do is done or not okay so let's call it done I will open the migrations file and add the same columns in the in the table so go to Migration table string for the title always required table um, integer for priority and table boolean for done. Um, let's set done to be false by default. So when a new to do is added, the done status is false by default. Also, let's actually set make priority nullable. There is no point forcing the the user to set priority. Okay, with that done, I think our migration file is set. Let's go ahead and run the migration PHP artisan migrate. Okay, our table has been created. The next thing I want to do is to create the controller for the to do. So this we create the 
to do controller and if you go to controller you will see our to do controller here the first endpoint i want to create is for make for creating a to do so i'll go ahead and open the route file first go to route folder open api.php that is where our api routes we go into and not into the web.php file i will comment out this default that was there and i will define the endpoint for creating a to do it will be a post request to to do's endpoint and of course the controller is to do controller the method name will be store the method for creating a to do and make sure to import the to do controller up there now we go back to the to do controller to create the store method public function store request request first let me get the the data that is coming in and validate it so we are expecting those columns that are in the to do table title title is required string let me just add max 255 and priority priority that remember we made this knowledgeable in the migrations file so i'll also make it knowledgeable here and it is an integer let's say mean one max three so minimum of one maximum of three for priority and then we have done done is boolean okay that's all at this point for the validation next let's create it to do and save to the database okay we have created the to do make sure to import to do actually import the to do model up there and now since we are building rest apis we will return json not view okay so let's return a json json here you can return any json structure of your choice for example status true everything went well and message to do created and data is the new to do we just created so Okay, there is something I forgot to add here, and that is the status code. So please, this is a correction. You can add status code 201 for created. This is not part of the original recording. So uh, maybe subsequently in the in the lesson you noted that 201 was not here. Please add it. All right. We validated the data and got it validated data with that. We create a to do and save to database and we return a JSON response because we are building a REST API. All right, let's test that. I will open Postman and I will call the endpoint with some payload. Right? So notice that when calling the endpoint, when defining the endpoint, we said slash to do's, but when calling it, we add api right that is the way laravel works by default when you define api routes by default you access them through slash api slash to do's you don't have to add slash apis here with that in mind 
let's create a to do with this title and this priority i will go ahead and call the endpoint um just a moment we did not migrate we did not start the server sorry php artisan serve okay our server is up and running now i try again one once more all right we just created a to do that's all fine let's move to the next action that is to get list of to do's created right i will go back to routes copy this put here change this to get request of course and the method let's call it index for getting the list of to do's and then i'll come here public function index request and the need request so basically we just want to get all the to do's in the database and return it to do all this is fetching all the records and we do something similar to what we did here we just copy it to save time okay we return to do's mr we can say to do's retrieved any message you want to pass here so this is straightforward get all the to do's return the to do's let's try that out here i'll call the endpoint you can see we get all the to do's right currently we have one i can add one more say learn laravel change the priority to two and go now we go back to get the list of to do's now we have two records good let's go to the next action that is to update a to do actually let's get a single record of a to do slash id that will be the id of the to do we want to get let's call the method show okay and we go back here I will actually copy this to save time, right? Paste here, change this to show. Now notice a difference, of course, we are expecting the ID, right? Instead of to do all, we say find. To do that has the ID. Let's call this to do. Instead of to do's, change here to do. So notice we have ID here. We find it to do that has that ID and we return it. So you can say to do found or anything. I'll quickly test that as well. Get a single to do slash to do. This is the ID. So we have a to do with ID one, of course. And then we get our to do, right? And let's move on to the next. That is to update it to do. I will copy this paste down here. I will change this to patch. You can use put, you can use post. Just check the, of course, I guess you know the differences. So I prefer to use patch here. And we call this update. Update. So patch to do, we still pass the ID and the method name is update. I will get this paste down here, change this to update. We still we are still expecting the ID here. And first thing is we find it to do to know if it exists, right? If it exists, we go ahead and update it. Otherwise, we say something like to do does not exist, right? If to do And then what do we want to update? What fields? I'll go up to create and grab this. So from create, I will get those the same validation. The only thing I want to change here is the title.
change it to null level because this is an update right and then we can say to do update data that is if there is a to do else we can say we can return actually let me return at this point else we can say false to do not found data will be null so if the to do exists we update and return success or true otherwise return false to do not found all right let's try that and one more thing actually i'll pass 404 here by default the status is 200 so there's no need passing 200 here just like uh, when we here there's no need passing 200 because by default it is 200 and also in the index but here the resource is not found so I can pass 404 there so let me go ahead and give this a try update to do to do with id 1 and what do we want to do let us just set done to true and try that so we get everything okay done true fine let's try to update a to do that doesn't exist 1111 as the id we get false to do not found all right it's all good and let's move to the to the next action here that is to delete i'll use delete and similarly we have the id of the to do you want to delete and the method name delete head over to the controller um the closest thing here is is this i'll copy the method for update right come down here paste it change this to delete all right this is the id of the to do we want to delete we are not validating anything here and if the to do exists we just want to say delete and return to do deleted and data is no data is no status is true that is deleted and there's no need passing to or 200 here or 204 i guess so the default is 200 otherwise we say to do not found okay if the to do exists delete it otherwise say to do not found okay let's try that we go over here i will actually delete the to do with id2 remember we have a to do with id2 there's no there's no payload of course and go ahead and delete that it says to look to do deleted if i try to call that endpoint again it's a to do not found okay so guys that is basically a quick rundown of how you can do how you can build rest apis with laravel i know this 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 is quite basic does not say much here but the idea is to help a beginner to get started to understand the flow and some of those basic stuff you have to do when building a REST APIs. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think. Bye.